Hello, how are you going everyone? Today I'd like to share what I've learned about PokerStarter, which is an up and coming project currently on the Ethereum network, but ready to migrate to Polkadot in the first quarter in 2021. Firstly, what is PokerStarter and what are they trying to achieve? Basically, they are a decentralized exchange that vet brand new projects wishing to be listed on their platform. The problem they are trying to solve is when new projects are listed on decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, the initial price offering shoots up dramatically due to bots front running the public. Usually after 24 hours or so, the bots will dump on the public. Looks something like this. I know I've been one of those unfortunate people being dumped on. How about you? If so, please leave a comment below. So, new upcoming projects or pool creators supply their IDOs or initial DEX offering on the site. They need to supply their access rules like allocation amount per applicant, token price, release date, and so on. As you can see on their site, there are two kinds of pools. One, which is a public pool, which is which anyone can apply for to get on. And the other is a polls pool or a private pool. The polls pool is only available for poker starter token holders or polls, P-O-L-S. If you hold over 3,000 polls in your wallet for at least seven days prior to the release of a project, then you're eligible to enter this pool. Or in other words, you're eligible for the private sale and you become whitelisted and may enter the pool. But even so, there is no guarantee you'll be able to enter the private pool as there is only a limited amount of total token allocation provided by pool creators. So it's a first come first serve basis. But I think it's a safe to assume that polls holders have a higher chance of being eligible than non polls holders to enter pools, provided they meet the requirements of the terms of the pool. Mainly because there are many more applicants in the public pools than the private pools. Alternatively, instead of having 3,000 polls tokens sitting dormant in your wallet doing nothing, you can also provide liquidity over at Uniswap by matching ETH and polls token equally. You'll need a minimum of one ETH and the equal amount of polls though. After that, You'll need to follow the instructions in this Medium article and get, over and get your ETH address whitelisted. I'll leave a link in the description below. Using this method though, you'll be eligible for rewards paid out in polls token. But be sure to read the article carefully first so you fully understand. So far, PokerStarter has a very good track record. They have launched tokens like Tenet, Nord, Fire, and Exceed Me. An example of their most recent project is 10 Token, which list, listed with a ratio of 1 ETH to 900 tens. And checking on Uniswap just now, the ratio is 1 ETH to 456 10 Token. So that's about a 2x. All in all, I think PokerStarter is a fantastic project and has some real potential going forward, especially now while we are enjoying this amazing bull run. I think getting into quality projects early has potential to create massive gains. I hope you could enjoy this review. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in other projects, please leave some comment, and I'll look into them too. Signing out for now. Thank you.